Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dino the Genetic Marvel, and with me, as always, is my spectacular co-host, Crystal Morenzi. Good morning, Crystal. How are you today? I am good, Dino. How are you? I love when he does it all like, hello, ever since he watched his, he wants to be Tony Robinson now, start. I do not want to be Tobin, Toby Robinson. What? Tony Robbins? Tony. I do not want to be Tony Robbins. <laughs> I uh, I like being oh, Dino the Genetic Marvel. Yeah, it's definitely Robbins, not Robinson. But hey. Well, he does inspire people to be you know? their best. Be their your best you. You can do it. <laughs> do you know that Tony Robbins actually, uh, so, because he claps so much. And he's, have you ever, did you ever see uh, Shallow How? He's with Jack Black. Yeah. When he, he yeah. grabs him by the face, he's like, and he called him banana hands. So I'm like, that's the thing. So he actually like claps a lot at his seminars and he claps so hard that he broke, he fractured bones in his hand. So he couldn't, oh so he God. couldn't clap. And I'm like, that is honestly the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm like I clapped too hard so now I can't clap. <laughs> the world Dino <laughs> oh can I start off with something sure, what do I care oh. yeah. <laughs> right away I just want to get this out of there right All away right. Um, so I made a comment yesterday and I had told you about this last night about how like women taking like how like if you s women taking news without you know being classy about it maybe getting something for it then <laughs> then it was like kind of weird right but then I was like, dude, you've had girlfriends, you've sent news, you're a whore too. So, <laughs> so I take it back and I'm just as bad, if not classier. <coughs> and or classier. <laughs> you know, you know, there are times when I'm like, why? Just why? There's no win. There's no, there's no success to be had from these words. Most of the time, it's me like listening to, to like, me. Like, I'll, I'll be talking. I call my shit out. <laughs> you call my shit out. I'm not sure that's how pooping works, but hey, whatever floats your boat. That's, uh, <laughs> you call it out. Hey, ah, you Mr. get Brown. out of there. I don't, <laughs> I don't want you anymore. You jump in the water. You should uh, have that poop talk when you eat those panzerottis. You need to have I that ask, talk. I asked Victoria to get me panzerottis today. She's like, no, I'm making you something different. I'm like, okay. Um, oh, thank you, Victoria. <laughs> we much appreciate. But they're so good. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to. I have a lot of color and stuff going on right now. She has a bird. <laughs> Apparently, she's like Eve now, and just birds are appearing in her hair. <laughs> I needed a happy moment, and nothing makes me happier than pink. So, <laughs> pink there's, makes you there's happy. Ooh, a lot of jokes that I could say right now that I think is not. <laughs> nothing mm. makes you happier than pink, too. <laughs> For like a solid, like, a half hour ish. Like, I have a good time. I have a good time. What does your shirt say? Uh, it's my Stay Puff Marshmallow Man shirt. Oh, I freaking love that one. It's a one. great shirt, honestly. I, mean, I want that one in my shirt too. You, you're not she, okay. She keeps sit. on threatening to steal my clothes, and I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that I'm not the kind of guy that would date a uh, woman while I was married because she would steal all my clothes. And that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. I'm not that kind of guy. No, I want them in my size. I want them in my size. What am I gonna wear? I wear that to bed. Like I wouldn't be able to wear that out in public. And I don't wear pajamas in public because that's just you're not going anywhere with your life. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that you said that because that is a fact. I that is the one thing. That is a fact. That is the one get thing. Get up and get ready for your day, you lazy motherfucker. Well, no, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's honestly is more so that if you're gonna listen, you should be comfortable in your own home. That's fair. I I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, but come on. Like, if you're gonna leave the uh, how house, how comfortable are you being that like that? Knowing that yeah. you're just don't gave up, like you just don't care. You know, you're just like some. I don't. Some know. people just get yourself feel. Some good. people don't care to the point where they'll raise their hands in the air. It's it's just it's a it's an it's. A, <gasps> Put your hands if you don't care. Put your hands in the air. I miss the nineties. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> ah, I miss the 90s too. It was a great time. <laughs> it was fun. Come on. Uh, people are so like, I can't even, do you know? Let's just stop. To stop researching, stop going on the internet, everything, I can't do it anymore. Everybody's just so corrupt and yeah. it's freaking me the fuck out. And just the world's weird. And the fact that I'm so crazy about the fact that our whole entire world is so upside down over something like money, value of possession, and real estate is dynamite and mm -hmm. like corruption. Like that's the end all of be all is yeah. own the property. <laughs> like that's it's, in property in, as a thing. That's like horrible. Um. Yeah. Well, this is okay. Session. So let's let's break that down. Um. I'm gonna send you a video. There's a video that we need this to feel valued. Well, there's a, there's a like and we're burning stuff down because we don't have this stuff. We're all going through misery. People are committing suicide look, over money. Okay, but you have to understand too. It goes. There's. It's not just that. It's more so. So, uh, news today was that there's an island in Greece called Lesbos where uh, a lot of um, mm -hmm. refugees have run to uh, from places like Syria, places like uh, uh, Jordan, Lebanon, oh, Palestine, all those places. Now, uh, they were quarantined because of COVID concerns on the island. And essentially, uh, now, they haven't said anything, but this has happened before, where the quarantined refugees will set fire to the camp that they're in uh, as a form of protest. So now, the entire refugee camp uh, is, is burned down. It's gone. Uh, and they just essentially scattered over the entire island. And this is the problem, is that... You know, if you... I don't know how to pose this because somebody who's running away from uh, danger, for, for, they're running for their life from their own country, should be helped. That, that's my opinion. Uh, but at what cost? And, and that's that's where it comes down to is the value of human life, I think, is higher than anything else. I think that's most important. Uh, but then burdening a place like Greece only has like I think 10 to 15 million people. It's a very small place. It doesn't have a huge industry or resources. It's got tourism, feta cheese, and olives. That's all it has. There's no reason why it should have ever been in the European Union. It is a small, very uh, 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 small impact country to econ economies and things like that. Now, that all being said... Um, that's the closest place that they can go. Uh, so they go as refugees, and the fact is that Greece cannot handle it. It, it, it does not have the infrastructure, doesn't have a, anything to do with it. But the problem is that for so long, a lot of these boats would go to Italy. Italy has a massive uh, industrial complex. It has huge forces. It, it has the ability to sustain a refugee population to get on their feet and, and, and migrate instead of just being refugees. Um, and the problem is that Italy is like, sorry, closed. That's that's literally what they they put in their papers. FYI, refugees were closed. That's that's what they put in their newspapers. It was a whole big controversy years ago. Uh, and Greece was like, you want to come? Come. You want to work? Go work. No problem. Greece don't give a shit. But now you have a situation where people who are... And this comes down to the whole idea of, of people saying, well, beggars can't be choosers. Yes, but beggars still need to be tr treated like human beings. Right, so there's there's a lot of difficulty, and there's a video um, I watched years ago. There's two of them. There's an addendum portion to it. One is called Zeitgeist, and it explains that the idea that people should have to fight to be able to eat is wrong. This is this is a fallacy in the grandest scale that people shouldn't have to fight to be sheltered from the weather. People shouldn't have to fight to be able to feed their children. These are crazy items, and and that's why is. Yesterday was Labor Day, and what a lot of people don't realize is that up until um, unions got involved to stop things like child labor and things, I'm pretty sure I'm making things worse by keep on talking, but I'm almost done, I swear to God. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 you're not. No, I just, it's just all just yeah. too much. Well, like, it's like, because we put so much value on the dollar. Oh, 
then we put so much pressure on people for that value for that dollar because <clears throat> it's like who made it Listen, so hard just just like I, you know and it's i don't like, want to make you f it should be so easy i don't want to make you feel worse like, but it's not even that people yeah. value a dollar over someone's life it's the fact that our economic makes us as human beings is the fact that it makes us hor like that makes us no so Listen, just it's 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 I feel like I'm crazy, no, but no. this is stupid as fuck. It's 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 like, actually yeah. worse. It's actually worse than you think. Uh, the fact is, because it's involved in everything, religion. Everything. No, no, no. Watch this. Sorry. It's it's not that a dollar is worth more than someone's life. It's the potential of possibly earning a dollar is more important what? than someone's life right now. That's it's oh, the 100%. the idea that I might earn something more outweighs the value of someone else's life and that's the problem um i'm, I'm actually Human like kind it's just we're based on our oh, we're, f we're, we're valued at our economy we're based our our <coughs> existence depends on our economy 100 billion percent our existence depends on our economy how did the fuck did that happen why why does it always depend on this is over our whole existence as human beings has to based on value of money that's insane yes. when there's so much resources there and yet we have to pay like we can build we should we don't need the stuff that we've made that's not necessity yes. the stuff that we've made is stuff that we decided that we want out of luxury because the resources are here for us not to need that stuff. We just needed to learn with what we had to live with what we have. 